Right, so I want to start with a quick poll. How many of you here have actually stayed in a hostel in the last 12 months? Be honest, I won't be offended. Oh, wow. Actually, quite a lot, more than I expected. Um, I was going to say that actually we do have quite a tough challenge in terms of shifting people's consideration of hostels. We know that people have quite outdated perceptions often of hosteling and what that's all about. People think that hostels are unsafe, dirty, noisy, overcrowded, but actually hostels have changed. And I want to share a quick video to show how the modern hosteling experience might not be what you'd expect. A bit about Hostel World. We're the world's largest online hostel booking platform with over 10 million customer reviews from our community of travellers. We relaunched the brand three years ago, which is all about meeting the world, and that celebrates the social nature of hostels and how it enables you to meet people from all over the world that you might never have met. Our aim is to facil facilitate social travel, which means we want to help young travellers make the most out of their trips. However, we face a number of really, really strong brand challenges. We still suffer from poor quality perceptions, as I mentioned. So people have these perceptions of hostels that we're trying to shift in order to increase consideration. And even if people like the idea of booking a hostel, they're not actually sure where to book one. So brand awareness is a key issue for us. And finally, competition is fierce. We know that all of the bigger OTAs have spotted the hostel opportunity and the growth in the market and have started to encroach on our niche territory. So we've developed some comms objectives to help us tackle these perception issues and change consideration. We need to showcase the modern hosting experience in a really entertaining, engaging way in order to drive consideration. And we need to do it in a way that drives fame. We want to bring awareness and raise it for Hostel World. We need to differentiate ourselves from the, from the rest of the market. And we need to cut through to a very hard to reach young audience. So for us, that means that content is absolutely key in telling our brand story. We have a really young audience of 18 to 34 year olds who are passionate about travel. They're digital natives and they have very short attention spans. So we've got to get across these perception barriers and make sure that we tackle all of these issues of cleanliness and security, which we know are stopping people from considering and booking hostels. And therefore content is a really powerful way for us to communicate our key brand messages in a way that we can have a conversation with our young audience. So I'm going to share two case studies, which are really um, big campaigns for us last year that helped us to change perceptions, bring people into our acquisition funnel, drive consideration, and ultimately drive bookings. Charlie Sheen is an example of our hero brand activity, where we use unexpected celebrity guests as a way of showcasing hostels. While Speak the World is a very different kind of content, it was a beautifully emotive piece of storytelling, which enabled us to showcase our app and encourage app installs. I'm going to start with Charlie Sheen. So in case you haven't seen this, um, the Charlie Sheen ad was all about driving consideration through using a celebrity who you wouldn't expect to find in a hostel as a way of helping us to show off the modern hosting experience. We actually got a call from Charlie Sheen's management back in 2016. They said that Charlie was in town. He was in London in two weeks' time. Um, he loved our ad for 50 Cent, which, which launched the year before, and he wanted to work with us. And who are we to turn down Charlie Sheen? So we said yes. Um, and our creative team got thinking about what the angle could be. How could we showcase hostels in a way that related to Charlie, but also made hostels look really beautiful and showcase that modern hosteling experience? They came up with a really interesting angle, actually. So people think that Charlie Sheen is this wild party animal, when in fact he's actually a changed man. He's gone clean. And people think that hostels are wild, noisy party <laughs> venues, when actually they've completely changed. They've also transformed. So people have outdated perceptions of both Charlie and hostels. 
We created six 20-second films to help us showcase this modern hosting experience, which playfully used uh, clickbait-style headlines, suggesting that Charlie Sheen was up to no good, but in fact revealed that he was just having a really nice time in a hostel. I'm going to play the six clips for you now. They would have been uh, served sequentially to our audience over a three-week campaign period. Who wants one? Pork chop, there you go. There you go. Checkmate, amigo. Wheatgrass for the lady. So you can see what we did there. We used the first few seconds to grab attention by showcasing, sorry, by, um, by having big headlines that suggest that Charlie's up to no good and then actually reveal that he's having a really good time. Um, we dedicated 50% of our budget towards YouTube TrueView activity, which actually delivered 65% of completed views for the campaign and a unique reach of 14.5 million young travellers. But most importantly for us as a brand, we actually drove consideration with this activity. 66% of those who saw the campaign, who were exposed to the campaign and watched the ads, said they were more likely to book a hostel as a result. All of this fed through to bookings. The YouTube ads drove 82,000 clicks directly to our hostel website and contributed to a growth in 21% of bookings which is an incredible result. The second campaign I want to share with you is Speak the World. This was a really unique collaboration, three-way between Hostel World, Google, and Lucky Generals, our creative agency. It was a way for us to embed the Google Translate technology into our app and encourage users to download the app in order to, to use the functionality. We sent British comedian Phil Wang to Indonesia, armed with only our app and the Speak the World functionality, to see if he could prove that humour could travel. Take a look. I thought I was the only fish out of water. Yeah. Tough crowd. Hi, I'm Phil Wang, comedian, globetrotter and proud Aquarius. I'm out in Indonesia using the Hostel World app's new Speak the World feature to see if humour travels as well as my hurt little butt. What's going on here? Apa yang terjadi di sini? Ini pacu jawi. Cow racing. It looks like a load of bull to me. Sepertinya ada banteng bagiku. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was trying to make a... Yeah, it's fine. Do you know any Hindi jokes? Kya aap koi Hindi chutko le jate hai? Na, apki ammi ko janta hai. I know your mama. Mi chamo Giovanni. My name is Giovanni. This actually has a Giovanni mode. Questo in realtà ha una modalità Giovanni. Complimenti. Who ate all the rice, am I right? What do you think of the gun show? 
How do you harvest rice? Bagaimana anda memanen padi? Sabit. Sickle. Oh wow. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Tolong jangan sakiti aku. <laughs> Let's see how it handles a maniacal cackle. So, humor might not always translate, but I met some people I wouldn't have otherwise and had a laugh along the way. Even if they didn't. The results were incredible. The video demonstration was a hit. We targeted 5 million views, but actually achieved 12.3 million on YouTube with TrueView Activity. 75% of our media spend went towards YouTube, um, and we delivered, we achieved 115,000 app downloads during the campaign period. Cost per install plummeted from 4.38 euros down to 1.58, so really, really strong um, acquisition cost there for us. And most importantly, 3.5 million Speak the World interactions have happened since we launched this campaign, which means millions of conversations between strangers that might never have happened otherwise. And for us, that means millions of people literally meeting the world. So I wanted to share some key learnings from those two campaigns and best practice for how we can apply those moving forward. Um, we leverage the natural strengths of YouTube as a, as a platform for storytelling. So those are two very different types of content. We've got the longer form, speak the world, emotive storytelling versus the short attention grabbing, making sure people don't sw uh, skip ad in the first few seconds. And both were very effective in different ways. YouTube can also be a highly effective tool for busting perceptual barriers. Remember, 66% of people who watch the Sheen ads said that they would now consider hostels. You can also choose your audience targeting based on your KPIs, so affinity, contextual, in-market. Choose what works in terms of what you're trying to achieve. Um, YouTube provides huge reach and the ability to retarget consumers using AdWords, Google Display Network, and DoubleClick Bid Manager. And finally, we found the App Install program really effective in driving quality app installs using engaging storytelling video content and optimizing towards a really good low cost per install. So in summary, we could see that content was, was really important for us in telling our brand story in different ways. Those two examples show that we can change perceptions and drive awareness and consideration of hostels, moving people further down the funnel and then hitting them with hard work and conversion metrics. Speak the World is a really good example of that of how we can actually drive app download, downloads through a really emotive storytelling piece, ultimately taking people from wanderers through to bookers. Thank you. <laughs>